Okay, we're back at it with another episode of Fixes and Feedback. This is where we give our opinions, give our thoughts and suggestions on how to improve an element of Tesla. Uh, in this particular episode, we're gonna talk about Navigate on Autopilot. After doing an initial impressions video, we've had some more time to test it out, check out some different features and capabilities and limits of Autopilot, and just be able to use it more often in real world conditions. And we've got some suggestions, some suggestions to help improve Navigate on Autopilot. But before we get into that, if you or anyone you know is looking to buy a Model S, a Model X, or Model 3, make sure you use that referral code or pass that referral code on to your friends or your family. Anyone using our link will be entered into a drawing to raffle off some cool prizes as a token of our appreciation for using our link. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing I'd like to do, and I stated in the initial video, is to transition between autopilot and navigate on autopilot. If I'm driving normally, I wanna be able to see what my car is doing within the lane. So I want a closer zoom level in the instrument cluster or on the touch screen to be able to see exactly what my car is doing as I'm controlling it. If I'm on autopilot, I'm still in control of the car. I still wanna have visibility into what the car is doing within its given lane. And the things that are important are just the lanes to the left and right of me. So having, having that closer zoom level the way it was in version eight, would be ideal for regular driving as well as regular autopilot okay and so now the idea is that once we turn navigate on autopilot on and it engages i now want a transitional state where i can zoom out a little higher see more cars see more lanes relative to what i'm going to be doing uh, because the information that's provided through navigate on autopilot conforms to that higher zoom level, that wider zoom level. So I can see multiple lanes, which lane I'm supposed to be in, pertinent to me making automatic lane changes and having the confidence that the car sees, cars coming in the blind spot. So this is the information I would like to see, but I just like that little smooth animation. It's something that's gonna help all the drivers to be able to differentiate and see, hey, I'm on autopilot versus being on navigate on autopilot. The next thing I wanna suggest is maintaining the autopilot lines. Autopilot uh, by default takes these gray lines that the, that the car sees and turns them blue to indicate to the driver that you are on autopilot. Navigate on autopilot, what they do is they take those blue lines that represent the lane lines and combine them into a single solid line uh, showing the path that the car is going to go, which is fine, but it doesn't give me the indication that I'm still on autopilot or a iteration of autopilot. I'd love for the car to be able to maintain the visuals of autopilot proper and just add that additional solid line to show that you're on navigate on autopilot. In addition with that zoom level, that's gonna be able to create a real clear distinction that you're on navigate on autopilot versus standard autopilot, okay? And then in addition to that, as navigator autopilot disengages, it goes back on autopilot. That's the default behavior. It doesn't give you the control to just start driving yourself. It goes back on autopilot. So if those lines are there, all that's really gonna change is that solid line to give you the visual indicator. And if we add the previous suggestion of increasing the zoom level, once you have disengaged navigate on autopilot, it becomes very clear that there's a transitional state happening and the car transitions from being on navigate on autopilot back to autopilot so you know exactly what's happening. And then you can decide to resume on autopilot or disengage autopilot and continue driving yourself. So again, just the visual cues to help uh, refine the distinction between navigate on autopilot versus standard autopilot. The next suggestion is to give me a clear indication of when I should take over the car. Right now, Navigate on Autopilot has a countdown in terms of distance of when it's going to complete its segment or Navigate on Autopilot is going to end, but there really is no indication that I should be prepared to take over and take over the car, especially when the car, when disengaging of Navigate on Autopilot goes back to regular autopilot. Okay, so I would love for that message that pops up to prompt me to be prepared to take over on an off ramp. Be prepared to take over on an interchange where it, it maybe merges into a, a street level. Be prepared to take over, bringing my attention to the car so that I can take over and either choose to resume autopilot or choose to disengage autopilot altogether and drive manually. The next thing I wanna talk about is more about the audio cues that should be prevalent within Navigate on Autopilot. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, there is a chime when the car suggests a lane change within Navigate on Autopilot. It's faint. And it happens when you have when you wait too long to make that recommended lane change. It's a little chime. I like for those chimes to be a little bit more prominent because the idea is that if you're on navigator autopilot, you you have control of the car. 
to an extent, you're holding the wheel and you're looking out the, out the window at the road, don't really wanna have to look down to be able to see the notification that a, a recommended lane change is there. You wanna be able to hear a little bit of a chime. So if they can make a chime to indicate when a suggested lane change is relevant, then you can go ahead and just use muscle memory to turn the turn signal sock or pull the uh, autopilot lever to initiate the recommended lane change. I'd also like an audible cue for blind spot detection. And this can happen on autopilot, on navigate on autopilot, or just driving regularly. If I have signaling, a, if I'm signaling to turn into a different lane and uh, a collision is, is, is imminent or a collision is potentially uh, at risk, based on the, the blind spot monitoring, I want a little bit of a chime, uh, similar to how you have the Ford collision warning, the car turns red, it beeps. I'd love a little bit of a beep in that regard, just to give the driver a heads up that, hey, it's not safe to make this lane change other than just the visual red uh, lane marker. And that visual red lane marker is only prevalent, based on my experience, on autopilot, not necessarily on driving regularly. So including that in the regular driving experience would be valuable. Okay, so this next suggestion is not so much visual, it's functional. So that means that as Navigator Autopilot drives right now, it doesn't adhere to uh, passing rules, regional passing rules of how you should pass and when you should pass and the lane you should stay in. Would love for Tesla to bake in some of those rules and some of that logic that allows the car to be able to pass properly and get back in the lane it's supposed to be. So right now, if the fastest flowing lane is the far left lane, uh, on the highway, then the car is gonna stay in the far left lane for the duration of the trip to maintain that speed. Again, speed-based lane changes. Uh, would love for the car to overtake vehicles, meaning pass the vehicle in front of it in the second to left lane as it continues to proceed and then get back in that second to left lane. Go to the left lane to make the lane change to overtake and then to get back in the uh, second to left lane to make sure that, that we're leaving that left lane open and obeying the regional passing rules of the given highways and such. Let me know in the comments what you think below uh, and let's let's have a conversation below and let's see if we can't get Tesla to look at some of these suggestions and take some action and update and make uh, autopilot and navigate on autopilot that much better. See you in the next video.